What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today in this video we are going to be discussing another round of missing WWE action figures, man. Today we're going to be discussing figures. We've done this before on the channel where I got on here and I talked about figures that either elude me or just figures that I could not seem to find or figures that I've never tracked down, I've never owned in my collection, things of that nature. And it seemed like a lot of people chimed in the comment section below and I do believe some people like were able to make deals off of the comment section actually through the way that we did that video. So hopefully that'll be the case here today man but nonetheless we're going to be diving into my fig list or my list of figures that either just haunt me to this day or figures that I just have never been able to find and if I found them it's been very fleeting it's been something where it's not something that I could track down or something that I could add to my collection which we'll of course dive into man but let's go ahead and dive into my list man let's shut the hell up dive into it and get things started with the first figure on my list which is going to be defining moments triple h now this is a figure that we talk about a lot on the channel I've said that it needs to be a re-release they need to do this in the greatest hits line this needs to be a figure that needs to make its way out man i mean this is way ahead of its time it was a figure that was so good the defining moments triple h with the with the cloth goods and one of my favorite triple h gears of all time it is just such a beast i think it's very nostalgic too when you put it in that packaging but if you were to repackage this as the greatest hits figure with that head sculpt we have not seen to this day we still haven't seen that head sculpt a greatest hits triple h from the defining moments line would be perfect now this is a figure i think I, I want to say I've owned it one time ever, but I don't. I can't remember. I want to say I have. I want to say I got it in like a lot on eBay or something like that. And maybe I tried to fix it up or something like that, and something went wrong. Or or maybe I've never owned it. It's it, it's either one of those. But I have made versions of this figure using other parts, but I've never fully owned the full 100% thing. I don't think. But this is just a beast of a figure. This is like one of my favorite Mattels of all time, and it's one that I've really never even owned in the collection. So this one's an easy one. This one goes at the top of the list this figure right here it just it needs the re-release i mean you could have it with the clothes on the clothes off the head sculpt's pretty solid i think for a screaming head sculpt which i think is pretty underrated nowadays so i think that this figure is easily on my list not even a, another thought about it the defining moments triple h figure is one that has to be re-released by Mattel at some juncture. Now, the next figure is going to be Elite Six Matt Hardy. Yes, this is the version that is in purple. Now, this is not the, the, the black attire with the long trench coat, which is also an amazing figure. This is the Elite Six. Now, this is like his V1 style head sculpt, but he's wearing the long tights, which isn't a particular look. It's not a look you really think of when you think of Matt Hardy, but the Elite Six Matt Hardy is great also because it has cloth goods. It's got that cloth t-shirt in there. A lot of people use it for fix-up Hardys and stuff like that a great looking gear a great looking head sculpt this is just one of those that i've never owned now i've owned the elite 2 version i've had every other version of matt hardy i think he has a lot of great figures but elite 6 matt hardy is one that just does not come across it doesn't come across man it's just one that you don't seem to find now obviously the older that elites get the harder they are to come by right like any figure from the first 2025 series is probably going to be a little bit tougher to grab rather than you know a later series for obvious reasons I feel like they're even they even make more of figures nowadays than they used to. I could be wrong about that, but it just seems that way and that's probably there's probably things that go hand in hand right there. It's probably not only are they making more figures, but it's probably something I've noticed more of because I'm more in the game like different stuff like that. But the Elite 6 Matt Hardy's an easy one. I think that's one that could also stand for a re-release, but it's also one that I don't think I've ever owned. Don't think I've ever owned that one even though I've owned every other version of Matt Hardy. So that's another one that I think eludes me to this day. Now, on our last video, video when I talked about some of the figures that elude me I still have only like tracked down one of those figures so any figure from that video besides like elite 99 Brock Lesnar shout out to my man Rob for making that happen that's like the only modern figure I think from that video list and the only figure that I was able to track down which also speaks to my point about older figures being hard to find it's just the way the cookie crumbles man but the next one is going to be one that we only got one figure of man it is going to be the Akeem Elite man this was way back in the Legends line now this is one that I I swear this is this has got to be one of the more rarer WWE Elite figures that you'll find. And anytime you get into a legend, not just an older figure, but any legend elite figure is way tougher to come by, it seems like, especially if it was an exclusive. It's just one of those things, man. And, and some of these figures, I'm sure that Mattel has probably tried to get some of these figures out on more than one occasion, but you know that there's so many different things that go into it between licensors and the actual talent themselves being under a deal and then actually being able to make a figure and have it make sense and all those different things. So that's that is another one that I would like to see. Never own that one. I don't even think I've seen that one in person before. So an Akeem Elite would be really, really dope. And I know a lot of people are also wanting to have that. I, I want to say that 
you know, that is one that a lot of people would also like to see. Also, a one-man gang figure would be really sick to see out of WWE Mattel. Now, next up is going to be a sort of a pairing here or a trio, and we're talking about Demolition, man. Never once, uh, the only time that I see these figures is when I go into an older toy store or a, a store that sells older collectibles or a, uh, a so, like any throwback toy store or any toy store that's going to sell higher end stuff or stuff that's going to be harder to come by. That is usually where I will see these guys, and they're usually mid on card, and they're usually behind the glass case, and they're usually wanting like three hundred dollars a piece, or they want like five, six hundred for the full set, or whatever the case is. Man, just never been in a position to own these. Now I have seen these in person, but only in store. I've never been able to actually grasp these figures, pose these guys around, own these in the collection, and I think that's probably, that probably speaks to a lot of people. A lot of people probably have that same experience as me. I think you know because they've never, we've never had another opportunity with these guys. So I think that a lot of these things would be uh, more more rare in but I know a lot of people obviously have them in their collection because they did make it to full release like it's not like it was some one-off or something like that or I guess it was a one-off but you know what I mean it wasn't something that a lot of people had their hands on and uh, I feel like a lot more people are collecting now than they were back when Mattel's line first started and when we got a lot of these figures so you guys can let me know down in the comment section below and if you guys have these figures so far I'd like to also know those things down in the comment section below but the next one is sort of a weird one it's one that not a lot of people probably even care about really but we're talking about the Yoshi Tatsu Elite figure. Never seen this one, never had this one, never even looked at this one. The Yoshi Tatsu Elite, great, uh, great deco on this figure, a great looking figure. Also looks really, really good men on card and actually even had a storyline about his Elite action figure. So there is some craziness going on with this figure, but it's another one that I just really never have had the opportunity to own. And that's, that's really, some of these are a lot of that case, you know, it's a, it's a lot of never even having the chance to own it. And there's a lot of figures that I've had the opportunity to own in my collection, but this is one of those this is one of those ones for whatever reason just never had the opportunity. So Yoshi Tatsu is another figure that is on my list or figures that have just evaded me for whatever reason. Another weird one that is on my list is going to be Lord Tensai, man. Yeah, Lord Tensai. A very good figure. Anybody that owns this figure will probably tell you that it's really unique. I mean, it's got a lot of things going on with it. And yeah, it does have like the rubber jacket and whatnot, but it has really good paint apps. It's got a really good head sculpt on it. It was in that weird era of Mattel WWE Elites. If anybody knows what I'm talking about, you can talk to me about that down below. It's just, I don't, I don't know. This is just another one that I've never seen before. And it, it's kind of weird because I want to say I've seen basics. If they've made a basic of this figure or a battle pack of this figure or this character, pretty sure I've seen that out and about at flea markets and different things of that nature. But I've never seen the elite figure or had an opportunity to add the elite figure. So, you know, when it comes to being a, completions, a, a completionist of the WWE elite line, there are some figures, man, that just evade me to this day. There's just figures that are just, it's, it's just seemingly impossible to get your hands on some of these. Now, could I go to eBay and just purchase it up right quick? Maybe, but it's never really been a big priority for me doing that. You know, usually I'm out and about hunting and things like that, and that's when it becomes priority. And then at that point, you're looking for a deal, right? I'm not I'm not waiting to save up that $80 to go buy that Elite. I'm more of having $80 and then going out to stores, and then if I see something for the right price, that's usually when you pull the trigger. So it's just been one of those cases for a lot of the figures on this list, but... Our last one on the list may shock some of you, but it's going to be the Elite 16 Kevin Nash. Never owned it, Brad. Never owned it. Always been a figure that I've really wanted on my list. Always been a figure that I've tried to track down and things of that nature. It's just been, it's kind of like Wolfpack Sting. It's like one of those figures that I've really, really wanted. And I remember when, I don't remember when the Elite 16 Kevin Nash necessarily released. I do remember when the Wolfpack Sting came out and I just didn't, I just didn't pre-order it, Brad. I just didn't get it. So there is that. But the, the Elite 16 Kevin Nash is one of those figures that I just didn't I didn't grasp it man and now here I am firmly upset about it so yeah that's another one I know we're getting the ultimate edition Kevin Nash soon but I'd still like to have that time capsule you know I'd like to have that throwback Kevin Nash elite figure from back in the day but the ultimate edition that's coming soon that's going to be ringside exclusive is going to be a beast it's going to probably a lot for a lot of people it's probably going to replace that Kevin Nash I know a lot of people that are probably going to be moving on from that elite 16 Kevin Nash figure and I guess it's no better time like the present than to uh, maybe cash in my money in the bank briefcase on somebody else's elite 16 Kevin Nash and getting my very own in my collection that would be something that probably needs to take place, probably, but 
yeah, the the Ultimate Edition Kevin Nash is going to be a great one, but I would like to have that Elite 16 Kevin Nash in the collection sometime. And not only the Elite 16 Kevin Nash, I don't think I've ever owned the Elite 16 Diesel either. So that is another one that, you know, evades me. And it's kind of weird because if you went if you went through every single series, you know, from 1 to 107 or 106 or whatever the case is, there's probably like just some figures sprinkled in there that I'm missing from the main Elite line that I've never owned. And it's usually a lot of those earlier series, even though I have a pretty good track record of getting a lot of these figures and having them in the collection. There are definitely, you know, some things missing in holes in the collection that I would like to add to it, and that Elite 16 Kevin Nash is definitely up there, along with a lot of the figures on this list. Now, a lot of these things on this list are mainly, I'd say mainly, uh, main Elite line, like Defining Moments Triple H is obviously not an exclusive, but not a main Elite line. The Akeem Elite was a Legends figure, and then Demolition, two of those were also, one of those was main Elite line, and then two of those were Legends line, so there is that, but I think the rest are just main Elite line figures, man, so, you know, and a lot of them are kind of like one-offs or figures or characters that we didn't get a lot of, but nonetheless, man, I think that's pretty much going to wrap up my figures most wanted list, man. I'd like to know down in the comment section below what your list is, what figures have evaded you. I got a lot of great comments on that last video the last time we did this, so hopefully you guys can chime in and let me know what figures you, uh, you know, you passed up or figures that have not been added to your collection that you've wanted for a really, really long time. So let me know all of those things down in the comment section, of course, man. But before we get out of here, a huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel and also a huge shout out to our new sign up, my man Brandon Joseph. Huge shout out to him for signing up to the patron Patreon yesterday. Huge shout out to you, brother. Appreciate it so much for you joining on. I greatly appreciate it. But I would like to know all of the things down in the comment section below, man, on the, all of your guys' list. I would like to know, man. But that is going to wrap up the video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your list down in the comment section section below of figures. Maybe you could add these to your Christmas list. Maybe you can knock out some of these on your Christmas list. I don't think I added any of these to my Christmas list, but that gives me a great idea. So there you go. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.